Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading the Remarried Empress episode 166. And it's currently Saturday, 10.50 p.m. And I saw the release of this episode on Webtoons and I was like, you know what? Since this is available right now, I'm going to go ahead and record and post all my reads. I am reading... I, mean, I have been reading all day today, so I am editing all night and I'm bu busy tomorrow, but I will try to post as much as I can for all the reads I have been promising. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Somewhere near Parm in the Eastern Empire, the Rose Orphanage. Oh dear. Empress Navier patronized this orphanage? Uh, let's see. So you're saying the child you're looking for ended up here after living in two foster homes? That's right. I thought that perhaps I'll be lucky enough to find that family's child here. And that would help me uncover something about Labetti. But considering Russia displaced Navier, I'm not sure if she'll find herself the recipients of good news. Hmm. We only took in two girls during that period. Two? Yes. One of them was reunited with her birth parents, as for the other. Oh. Here. What? Well, that's... <laughs> She's our orphanage's pride and joy. Emily. That's the mage the emperor is planning to make his mistress. His, she's Viscount and Viscountess Ishka, actual daughter? If that's true, people are going to think that both of the Ishka girls are involved with the emperor. Rasha will think that Evely is taking everything from her. Stay calm. You need to handle matters like this with delicacy. There is a girl called Evely who's staying in the South Palace. Bring me her blood. How is he going to retrieve that? The Remarried Empress, episode 166. A few days later. <laughs> who's pregnant? Where did you hear such a thing? Are you sure it's not just a false rumor? Apparently she made the announcement herself during the, a recent event. <gasps> Navier is pregnant? But Navier is... Is she not actually infertile? The Imperial family needs a successor. That's why I divorced her. I needed an heir after years of trying and failing. A child who I could make my successor even if they were from another womb. But she's not infertile, after all. <laughs> then does that mean the person who was actually infertile was... Could it be me? If he's the one's infertile, and he's having this, he's holding this baby, there's a chance right now in his head there's a chance that this baby right here that he's, he's holding is not his. Okay, okay. Ooh, plot twist. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Darling, hold mommy's hand, my precious little darling. I can't, I don't know how to hum that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Rush does not looking so good. Have you truly lost your senses? Her eyes look very sullen. <sighs> I thought it would would I thought it was obvious what I was doing. I'm practicing holding the baby since I can't, thanks to a certain someone. So I need to practice. I can't risk dropping her again. I might never get to see her for the rest of my life. Huh. 
She may be rambling, but she's not delusional. Pull yourself together. I have news about Viscount Ishka's real daughter. Stop looking. There's no need to look for her. Do I look like I care about finding someone else's daughter right now? <laughs> but then again, you are also searching for someone else's daughter, while yours is missing. You little. You're you're getting your you're getting your just desserts, deserts. You're get you're getting your just deserts. Am I having a seizure or am I just not reading that right? I I know it's late, but my brain. <laughs> I lost my baby because of you. So you lost yours. <laughs> what happened to her? How can someone change so drastically? Sure, she was sly, but there was a touch of innocence and naive naivety about her. Now she's rotten like a withered tree. <clears throat> anyway, back to the topic of the Ishka's daughter. The otter high that is Evely. Evely! Are you sure? You're not playing a trick on me, are you? What would I get out of doing that? She's my meal ticket. <laughs> no, it can't be her. <laughs> I refuse to believe that it just happens to be her out of everyone in this world. What about a paternity test? Did, did you do a paternity test? I managed to get a sample of her blood and it took, took it to the temple. But they've said that they've been having issues with people switching samples, so only the person being tested can request a te test. <laughs> then she's not the real daughter. She's not. I knew it couldn't be true. You expect me to believe the girl that called me sister is her real daughter? <laughs> Denying the truth will make it go away. You should check if it's really true by taking her to the temple, even if it's by force. Why would I do that? <laughs> I wouldn't take her even if she wanted to. In fact, I'll stop her. You made this lie up to hurt me, didn't you? They spent years looking for the, your daughter, and you're saying you found her in a few weeks? You must have been unlucky. Look, I'm telling the truth. Give me some money and I will get a good informant to confirm it. And while you're at it, send them funds to my estate to support Alan. He's raising your son. What meanwhile in the Western Empire? You feel a little zapped because of the nature of your my magic. All right, fine. Ugh. Upon learning that Grand Duke and Navier would have to hold hands for him to help her, Henry insist insisted that he learn from the Grand Duke and teach her. I understand how they feel, but they look like they're hating every second. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, I have urgent news. Well, why are His Majesty and the Grand Duke holding hands so amicably? And why is Her Majesty watching them with a delighted look on her face? No, that's not important right now. I've been told Lady Krista has hung herself. What? That's really dark. That's really dark. We didn't even get like the warning for this one. Is that really true? Oh my gosh. Okay. Going to Rashta uh, about Evelie first. Evelie, we kind of knew. We kind of knew because Evelie does look, resembles the two parents. 
And but imagine once the parents find out that, that their daughter, their long lost daughter, daughter, the real one, is Evelyn, and they were so mean to her. How would they redeem themselves? You know, like how? And for Rashda, yeah, she's going a little crazy. Her, she doesn't look. Like, she doesn't look like she has been sleeping or eating. She just looks very skinny, and you know. Ugh. And for Soveshu to find out that Nebir is pregnant, he's just like, oh my god, she's fertile. So that means I might be the problem. But he has a kid in his arm. And you're just like, if I'm the problem, who the heck is this baby? Who Who's the father of this child? Because again, I think Rasha's uh, genes are very strong because her son looks like her. Her daughter looks like her. Doesn't look anything like the father. So, ooh, that's a tough one. But Rasha's going a little cuckoo. I felt bad for her, but she, you know, she's an evil person. Karma caught up to her. But now, yeah. Now we're watching Navier and Henry and Duke, Grand, Grand Duke Kaufman. But wow, a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff stacking up right now in this amazing. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!